So if you want new clothes, it might be a good idea to just sell some of the ones you already have that you don't wear and use the money to buy new clothes. So I gotta say, it's been a successful week this week. A couple things that have happened, brought on a new client that's a non-profit. Um, essentially, they do dentistry education and dentistry services uh, in underserved countries like Jordan and uh, Ghana and somewhere, some places in the Middle East. But they're looking to expand marketing. They want to expand over into the Philippines and Uganda uh, as two other places they're trying to to focus their efforts. So it's going to be very interesting. I'm super excited to work with them because this is why I started doing this any, anyway, was to really help businesses in need. And this is exactly it. This is exactly what I signed up for. I'm just leaving a meeting with the Carolina's healthcare system, which is why I'm in a suit and tie. So um, everything's kind of moving forward. Uh, got approved to hire interns with my favorite college, which is Wake Forest, which is my favorite behind my top favorite, which is Bellarmine, which is where I graduated from, which has also approved me to hire interns from them. And I've gotten approval from UNC Chapel Hill to hire some interns. So today I'm going to spend the rest of the day writing up three different job descriptions getting those jobs posted for interns and then working on getting the strategy and plan put together for the nonprofit. So every day something new, every day moving forward, just got to keep grinding. So sometimes in the business world, you're going to be running your business, things are gonna go great, you've gotten your business plan together, you've got your LLC or your sole proprietorship going, and you might have a few clients, you might need to bring on some people, you're doing the work, now you're at this phase where you're trying to figure out what to do next. So what I wanna talk about today is a bit of a short plan you can put together to quickly analyze where you're at where you want to go and those immediate steps that you need to take to get there. So the easiest thing to do is first of all, list out the things that are running through your mind on your to-do list of those next things that you know you need to do. So just start listing them out. So for one thing, I know that Orion's Guard needs to market to new clients. So I know we need to do marketing to clients specifically through ads. I know that we need to bring on some interns. What else? I know that we need to do a case study. I know we need to do blog posts. I know we need to update the website. What else? I know we need to do some marketing to clients that's not necessarily through the form of ads. So let's do marketing clients through door to door, cold calling, etc. I know we need to lay out system processes a little bit better. Is there anything else? I think the last thing is we need to, for our current clients, we need to lay next steps. So current client analysis. And there's probably a ton more things I could probably write on here of things to do, but these are the first things that come to mind. So that's kind of the to-do list, right? Now we need to take the minor to-do list and build it into a step-by-step -step thing that we can make actionable. Because if you're like me, when you have a list of things to do and you write out exactly what they are, then you go do them. 
if I'm just sitting here like, yeah, you know, I really need to run ads and I really need to make some phone calls today. Yeah, maybe I'll make some money, I don't know. But if I actually do it and write it down, they say when you write it down, you're gonna do it. So, we've got our list. The easiest thing now to do is start with your end game and work backwards. And that's how you're gonna prioritize what you need to do, okay? So let me show you, it makes more sense when you write it down. So, in the end, so we've got our end game. So in the end, where do we wanna be once this to-do list and these immediate steps are taken care of? So we know we need to market through ads to clients. We know we need to hire some interns. We need to do a case study, get blog posts up, update the website. We need to do some marketing to clients for sales through online uh, hiring platforms or door-to-door, -door, cold calling, whatever the method is. Need to put together some more system processes so that the people we bring on know what they're doing. And we need to do a current client analysis of, of the clients we have now, saying, okay, where are they at? And where do we need to get them to go? How can we build for the next month? So when this is all said and done, where do we want to be in the next couple months or one month? So what I can tell you is at the end of this, I for one want to be at a position where it's really me up here kind of managing things and making sales that I have at least one other person making sales that we have one person or one paid intern that's a content manager content manager and then another intern that's a social media team manager. So I, when this is said and done, I'd like to have some bit of a hierarchy of three people hired and working, right? And then below that, each manager will have Orion's guards that they manage. So the person doing sales is selling, these two people will be managing a team of Orion's guards who are doing the day-to-day -day work for clients and they're overseeing them, but also these two. The content manager is gonna be doing content internally. The social media team manager is gonna be doing social media internally. So they're doing internal work while also overseeing people. Um, so I'm gonna put internal over here. So when this is all said and done, this is kind of the immediate structure I want the business to be in. This is what we're trying to get to. All of this should get us here. What comes with this structure is obviously more money, more clients, better processes, all of this, a better website, better SEO, all of the good stuff, right? That's the end game. So what, what does that tell me I need to do first if I wanna to get to the end quicker? What that tells me is for one, I need interns can't build the team without the interns, right? So interns, to do that, what do you need to do? We need, I need three job descriptions. So that's really it. Get the three job descriptions, push it out there, fill those three positions. Boom. That will get me from, me and the company from where we are now to this. That's the first thing, right? With that, obviously, the number one that would solve the blog posts would also be that content manager. So that is gonna come with this. Updating the website will also come with that too, okay? So what's the next thing? All right, so we've got three openings. And once we fill those, or before we can fill those, we really need to know what we're doing and how we're doing it. So let's say they get hired. Well, what the heck are they doing? So here, we're gonna write what and how. 
So what are they doing and how are they doing it? Which goes directly with system processes. So to get from where we are now to the end, we need system processes. All right? Number two. So we need to figure out what we're doing, how we're doing it, what do those processes look like, which means we're servicing. We need to know that when we're servicing our clients. So what happens? You go out, you get a client, now what? You need to know how, what you're going to do for that client. So we've got our clients, we need to know what and how we're doing it, and we're doing it in the team model. So servicing clients, that would obviously come here for current client analysis. And gives us our case study. As you just For a case study, you just take one of your existing clients, and then you turn that into a case study. So that's obviously going to leave us with those marketing and getting clients as the next step. So get more clients as number four. Okay. This might be counterintuitive to what many of the gurus like Ty Lopez and other people are selling nowadays in their courses. They're gonna tell you, oh, just go ahead and sell, and once you sell, then figure it out, right? I've been doing that, okay? Many of you have been doing that when you start a business. You go sell and you kind of figure stuff out. That's why this talk is for once you've got some clients, what do you need to do to kind of re-massage where you're at to make things more efficient and get to the next level? Which is why you want to work from the, from the end back to the beginning. See, the beginning will tell you to do this again, to get clients, service them, figure out how and what you're doing, then put a team together. I've been doing this, okay? Flip it. Focus on pulling some people in to get the team going put those processes in place so everyone is trained and knows what they're doing, so everything's running like a machine. Refocus on your clients to say, hey, we've got this team, these processes, here's how we can make things better. And then once you have kind of your hierarchy together and the processes, processes in place, bring more clients on. And as you grow, what do you think you're gonna do? The same thing again. If you wanna bring on you know, a third and a fourth manager because you have more teams. What does that look like? What's their positions? What and how are they going to do it? How are you going to tie that into it, your, uh, uh, your current clients now? And then bring them on more clients and put them back into the funnel of your new existing hierarchy, right? So this is what I'm going to test out this is what I've seen work for other people. I think this is the better route to go than just saying, we're gonna to get tons of clients and then you can't service them because you don't have the infrastructure in place to do that because you don't wanna deliver crap. So I hope this helps someone go through. First step is write out all the things you think you need to do and then start with the end in, the mind, in your mind. If the end is to have a certain number of clients, well, how do you get to that number of clients? Is there a piece of software you need to build? Is there some type of plan that you need to be able to deliver to your clients? Is there a building you want to move into? Whatever it might be, start with the end and work backwards and then start slotting your to-do list and prioritizing it based on one, two, three, four, five, or whatever. Uh, and you don't want to have like 15 steps because then you feel like you're not accomplishing anything. So that's why I kind of kept it to four five to seven is probably okay but go for it you can do this for your daily life too it doesn't even have to be business related it could be like where do you want to be in 10 15 years so i think this is a good way to do it and if anyone's got any questions let me know but until next time keep grinding